another All Lives Lost. This is Tony, this is where I play one of my favourite old retro video games. And as you can see, today's is Preppy on the Atari 8-bit computer by Russ Wetmore. Uh, Russ went to uh, college and uh, studied musical composition. And I remember way back when, um, when I played this video game for the first time, the first thing that struck me was the amazing three-part harmony uh, music. I recently listened to uh, a Russ Wetmore interview on the Antic podcast, and he spoke about the music, obviously spoke a lot about the game, um, and it was really, uh, really, really interesting. So I recommend you uh, take a listen to the Antic podcast. Anyway... Uh, one, of, one of the weird things was this was released by Adventure International who were renowned for their um, text adventure games and then suddenly this came out and I remember me and my friends were like wow this is a text adventure game and a friend bought it and it turns out to be a Frogger kind of game um, now Russ was a big and probably still is a big Frogger fan so when he got to actually uh, write something for uh, Scott Adams of Venture International, he kind of uh, used Frogger to inspire this game. Back in the early 80s, we didn't really know what a preppy was. We're English, didn't have the internet, young, stupid. But now we know preppy is uh, someone who goes to an expensive prep school. So it's very American, um, and the game's all about uh, you being the preppy. You've got to go and collect all these golf balls and not get sort of literally mowed down by lawnmowers or drowned uh, or eaten by crocodiles or is it alligators isn't it really so um, you can play one or two player game uh, which is really fun we used to have sort of uh, competitions me and my friends so you can get high scores but obviously today we'll uh, we're going to play a single player game so should we give it a go here we go I don't know why it's slowing down. But it is a little bit. I'm running it under emulation. So, if we look at the bottom, that's me. Preppy, with his nice little, uh, nice little uh, uniform he's got on. Now that's a golf ball. So we collect the golf ball, and then we return it. Yeah, yay! So we complete the first level. So we think, yeah, it's easy. Easy peasy. And we get a load of bonus because of the time. So then we go on to the next, the next level, which is slightly harder because now you see there's two golf balls. And again, we've got that awesome three channel harmonized music. Incidentally, the music on the Antic interview, uh, Russ said he picked these three songs. I think there's three songs which just loop round uh, because they were all public domain. So obviously they didn't want to spend out a load of money on copyrighted material. Now one of the things is, when you jump on a boat, don't jump at a pointy end. Oh, which I've just done. Because you slip off the end of the boat. I could say I just did that just to show you, but I didn't. I actually did it by accident. Here we go. Right, let's concentrate. I want to get further than level, level uh, two. To be fair, I haven't played this since early 80s. That's my excuse. Oh, you know what I've done? Yeah, you can tell. You can tell I haven't played it since the early 80s, mid 80s, whatever it was. So as you see, I'll go for the difficult one first. Get in. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I nearly walked right into them then. It's like some of the grass in this golf course. Absolutely pristine. And the other thing which was amazing in this game for the time, I'm pretty sure this was a 16K cassette. And it was just the, the custom fonts that you can see at the top. 
absolutely amazing and the uh, the colors as well really the the range of colors on screen at once pretty stunning for the time and to do that in such a small amount of memory i'm pretty sure this was 16k actually now we have golf carts at the bottom now i'm guessing they're golf carts and my computer's slowing down a bit Keep running, keep running, keep running. There you go. Oh, we just about made it. Being lazy now. Now we see you got logs there. Now. So you can walk down a bit. There we go. Yay. I went for the I went for the easy ball first. Ooh. Just. The small boats are really awkward, actually. Yay. Yay. I can't even remember what my high score was, but I remember we used to have uh, multiplayer challenges. We just played this game for so long, it was ridiculous. It was always worth the 15-20 uh, minute load time from tape. Jeez, right. Now you can see the logs are getting uh, faster. And the uh, lawnmowers and the golf carts are getting faster as well. Go! And obviously the time. Time's getting shorter. Oh. oh, as soon as I jump then. I just knew it. How many men have we got left? We got one left after this? Have we? I don't know. Here we go. One left. Gotta be wise. So now, I'm going to start that level again. Right, let's not be hasty. Ooh, yes. Yes. Here we go. Like it. I'm gonna get run over, I can see it. Here we go. So it's best to get a log down here to give me enough time to jump on that boat. There we go. So yeah, it, you could see it as a a frogger ripoff, but it's so much more than that. Do you reckon I'm gonna do this? Check the time. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to be really, really lucky. Come on, Tony. Concentrate. You know I'm serious when I start talking to myself. Oh, that Is that it? Please, one more? No? Oh. High score. It's not too bad. That's not too bad for me, uh, first game in God knows how long. So that was preppy. And I still enjoy it. I'm, I'm going to play it again, you know. I'm going to stop this video. I'm going to have another couple of games, couple more games. So that was. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Little uh, visit down memory lane there. And um, if you're into Frogger retro video games, check this out. So until next time, take it easy. See you soon. Bye.